is up everybody hope you're doing good welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new series called airline sim handbook uh this is a gonna be a series of short probably max five minute videos on getting y'all started in airline sim um so the first thing we're gonna do is finding a new airline and this is going on the assumption you've already found the airline hub and like all the information of where you want to start it. So now we're going to jump into starting it. Um, so we're on the private server, which means I can use real airline names and logos and codes and everything else. Uh, if you are doing this on a public server, please remember you can't use real names. You have to get creative and make your own logo, which usually isn't hard. So, we've decided to go with La Company, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, so, a big thing to remember is we're looking over here at the parent company. Now, when you found a new enterprise, you want to select no parent company because this is a holding. It's separate from every other airline I run. So, we're just going to copy and paste this and we're going to change it to ORY for Paris Orly. And so... We see it has the IATA code and the ICAO code. This is just a personal thing. I use the ICAO code as the uh, parent company code. So we're going to found the parent company and we're going to see awesome. We're set up. So before we found our subsidiary, we're going to do two things. And this is personal. So we're going to go to game settings and we're going to select no on all of these. So. That's because I want to choose my own maintenance. I want to create my own service profile. It's not a big deal. Um, I don't want this. This is how you burn a lot of money, especially when you only start with 10 million um, on public game worlds. What happens is when you buy a new aircraft, it's going to come with a very, very crappy seating configuration. And with that, you have to pay that money for it. And so usually that's a hundred to two hundred thousand, depending on the aircraft going on the seven thirty seven or eight three twenty side of things. And you know that can add up. And especially then you have to redo it because those seats aren't going to be competitive. Um, so that um, create a standard risk uh, seating configuration. No, that's just I don't want a bunch of crappy ones already created. And automatically assign crew to new aircraft. The reason I don't do this is because, especially on Tegel, there are no pilots that start out with. So the only way for pilots to be to go in the market and be hired, as opposed to have to train from scratch, is by airlines firing them or closing down. And so if I I might order thirty aircraft, and I know I'm not going to be able to afford to s put seats in every aircraft and pilot, train pilot for every aircraft. So that's just limiting my expenses when I purchase an aircraft. Um, and the last thing I'm going to do is global time setting. I set it to local time. That way it's a lot easier for scheduling flights. It's a personal preference. Now we're going to go back to create new enterprise and we're going to select parent company, Dreamjet. Uh, participations so we're gonna go over here and we're just gonna copy and paste and our code is B0 now uh, sometimes um, I put all the money in but today we're just gonna leave uh, yeah 3 million with Dreamjet participations um, the reason is later on if, as you start wanting to create more subsidiaries anything like that do it with stuff with your holding um, it's good to already have them some money um, and so this is just a big thing and with 75 million starting cash which is special for our private game world um, three million is not a big deal so we're gonna click found new enterprise and boom um, so one last thing I want to talk about is the difference between holding and subsidiary um, the holding is the company that itself you really aren't going to do anything with so if we look at dream jet participations i'm not going to fly any uh routes with this airline they're not doing anything they're simply holding 
this is where I'm going to try and put safe. I found law company express. I'll use uh, Dreamjet participations to do it. And that way, say if in three months, I'm like, I want to put this on the stock market to kind of raise liquidity um, and shell, eh, sell shares. I can't sell a holdings, see, but I can do it for subsidiaries. So it's it's a small thing, and it's not the end of the world if you use your holding to fly routes, but it does restrict you later on. So, hope you enjoyed episode one, and I'll catch you back for episode two.